So we are going to continue from where we stopped on this will be tutorial 10 on our Spring Boot with Time Leave uh, data application. Today we are going to see how we can display the data into the, the test fields of this model uh, box. Because when we click on edit, we expect that the data is going to be displayed in this box. So now for that to work, there are two things that is going to happen. First, we are going to make a, a call to one nationality to select just one item, the ID that was clicked. And then we are going to paste, kind of put everything back into this test boxes and this pop-up. So what it means, before this test box displays, we are going to do this work. We are going to select uh, the items that we are returned and then put it in the test boxes before we actually display. So to do that, we need to assign the anchor or the, or the reference of or the link of the, the, the edit button, we are going to assign a link to it to actually make a request to one nationality. That is the, the, the end point that returns one nationality. So we are going to allow the, when the button is clicked, it's going to make send a request to this place, right? So to do that, we are going to make a couple of changes. One, we are going to assign, in this place, we are going to assign a href. So to do that, we are using time leaf, so we are using th href uh, href equals so I'm going to open and close since we are using time leaf and I'm going to use the add symbol since we are going to be using slash so we are going to make a reference to one one nationality okay so we make a request to this nationality slash at this point we are going to specify uh, a parameter so let's see Sorry, we are going to specify a parameter of the ID, ID equals, and now we are now going to, so we are, I'm going to open it, open in brackets, ID equals, I'm going to do this, okay, um, ID equals, and this time I'm going to use another, another expression, another uh, time leave expression, to specify nationality nationality that ID. So this represents the nationality that is the national the particular nationality that was clicked is going to be passed as parameter to this link or to this request going to the endpoint that returns for nationality. So what I'm going to do is to maybe okay that link I'm forgetting to something so this is going to be here so I'm going to run this application let me check that the link is actually selecting the I've been assigned the link uh, the, the link and then the parameter of ID is also being passed along so let me just run it and let's see how it goes so if it's running and I hover my mouse um, my mouse pointer over the edit button I want you to look at the stitches bar at the lower left corner of the screen you'll see that the ID will be changing so if I refresh this page now if I put my mouse on ID if you look at the lower right you can see one nationality uh, ID equal to one although there is a little typo there so one nationality at this point all right so this being the case it means that we now have these uh, one nationality the ID making this request and it returns us a nationality object so we are going to go to the main the JS at this time so that we are going to now take whatever is returned from that main the JS and assign all the all the variables to the test box so let's just do it so that you get it right you understand how it works now this prevent default simply prevents the edit button from opening another window. So I, I don't know if I explained it before now. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to define a variable of type href. I'm going to assign href to a variable. So href uh, 
Caligula H R E F is equal to. So we are trying to select the item that was clicked, right? So the item that was clicked is a current item base, and we are trying to get the H uh, ref attribute. Uh, H ref. Okay, so now href holds the attribute, uh, the parameter uh, that was clicked. The, the the component that was clicked, that link that was clicked is now assigned here. The link is assigned here. Okay, so this link you see now contains uh, all the all the variables like the ID, the the, 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 the name, the 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 capital and everything is in there. So what I'm going to now do is to write a function that such that it will assign all these variables to the text boxes, right? So I'm going to say a function that h r e f. So um, function. A nationality object that was returned and it use. So this function is going to run when the link is clicked and uh, an, an object is gotten back from the, 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 the server. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to assign the ID to the ID at this text box. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to select dollar uh, hash id this dot val so the value is now going to be nationality dot id so i'm going to do the same thing into four places or five places so i'm going to just copy it and paste so well i will recommend you do this a couple of times so that you get used to it so for now doing it for the first time may be a little bit not easy so id name the next one is capital the next one is what is uh, updated by and the next one is updated on updated on so again i'm going to make the same changes at this point so id um this one is going to be name this one is going to be capital this one is going to be updated by and this one is going to be updated so when this code runs somebody clicks the the href uh, link it's going to make a get request one nationality and get back this object and this function is going to be to execute and assign all the return value to the test boxes so i'm going to run it but let me just do a little cross check sure function nationality nationality okay i think everything is okay so far so let me just run this application and let's see what happens there all right so hopefully it starts up perfectly well so let's go to the page and I'm going to refresh the page. And so at this point, if I click on edit, you can see, okay, maybe I've not completely refreshed. So nothing happens. So let's go check where we have one nationality ID is equal to two. Okay, so let's see where we have error here. Uh, I have attribute href like this. Okay. So uh, so let's check the names of the the test fields in there. So we have ID. We have ID edit, so it's correct. We have ID. So we actually need to use the uppercase ID at this point. So I'm going to save and I'm going to restart this app again. So I think this might be where the problem was coming from. 
let's look at our JavaScript file. Structure function, nationality status, nationality status, ID name. So everything should be fine. So it doesn't assign, so means there is a problem and error somewhere. So uh, let's look at our JavaScript file, event that prevent default, that is okay. Bar href is equal to the at set a tree href, okay, href function nationality dot id. Okay. id will be the event, okay. So uh, let's see. Let's check the name of the button to make sure it's okay. So the name of the button is edit button. Let's just check. So we have one nationality nationality dot id. All right. So this is right. So I think everything is fine. So why is it not working? So let's try to solve this problem. ID is equal to nationality that ID nationality that ID. Okay, so let's come here. So ID. Okay. Nothing shows up. Okay, let me show my console. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, let me go back here and I'm going to come to the, the controller. And at this point, I'm going to just, sorry, I'm going to go to the main. I'm going to take out this prevent default action. I'm going to take it out so that I'll actually see what is returned. So I'm going to rerun this application right now. So let's see. So I'm going to close this. Hmm, okay, so it's fine. So let's see a bit. So it actually returns. So you can see the ID is this lowercase letter ID. Okay, so let's get back. Um, so let's go to nationality. So so lowercase ID nationality. That so this is going to be lowercase letter ID. Okay. All right. So. Um, so let's see. So it actually returns the correct ID, but it doesn't assign it to the test to the boxes. So let's check. So we have type test, ID edit, name edit, ID edit. Oh, so ah. Uh, we see I'm making so much mistakes. So this is the problem. So it's ID edits, name edits. So I actually need to put edit in all of them. So Alright, so at this point we should have results. So let me just run it again. So hopefully it's going to work at this time. So debugging skills is really so important in programming and that is one thing I recommend you try to improve your debugging skills by doing it several times, a number of times. So let's get back to the list. So at this point I'm just going to go back. Okay, so let's refresh the page. And if I click on edit, it shows one. Okay, it shows one. So, 
so let's get back so we are getting close to the solution of the problem id edit name edit capital edit so it's actually is camel case so our name all right so it's camel case so let's just run it again after we run it and it runs successfully then we go ahead to ensure that the data we just make some changes and try to save it all right um all right so i think it works now so let's go here if i press f5 again and i click on edit now you can see everything works perfectly okay good but now in this date that displays in this way i want to solve this problem and to do that i'm simply going to go to last updated on i'm simply going to say dot sub string from 0 to 10 uh, that will help us solve this problem completely so let me just run it again so at this point if it works then we know that we are done with the edit functionality of this application and we can move on to something else all right so let's see so let's refresh so now i'm going to change this so you can see the, the day displays well uh i'm going to change this to another uh, name of another city uh, copper so let's change to this and let's so you can see the name we changed so let's add a new person so id of three name is hungary okay let's add hungarian capital in budapest updated by me updated today and i'm going to add so it adds so add works edit works the next one now is delete so we see in the next class when we, we are going to now solve the problem of delete I'd like to thank you for viewing remember to subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any challenges following this course